Now our new accounting system will be set up for sales tax. Sales tax payable is a current liability. It's an account that is equal to the total of all money owed to each tax agency as of the transfer date. It goes up when we sell taxable merchandise or services and it goes down when we ultimately pay the tax agency for the taxes that we collected from the customers. Sales tax payable is another area of data that has to match a T account in the chart of accounts. The subsidiary records in sales tax are the tax agencies and the money we owe to each individual tax agency exactly on the day that we change accounting systems. Before making the adjustment for sales tax, it is assumed that sales tax is activated in the software in the new system. It's also assumed that the sales tax agencies are put on the appropriate list so that we can choose them as we make our adjustment. And of course, you have to have the sales tax items put in and available for use before you can set up the correct money amounts for each agency and the money amounts in the T account for sales tax payable. So if you don't know how to do any of these things, you can take the course on this very website that will help you master everything about sales tax. QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online do things a little bit differently from each other regarding managing sales tax. If you owed $500 in total of sales tax on the day of the transfer, it could be that you owe $200 to one department of government and $300 to a different department of government or a different tax agency. Now, if this were QuickBooks Desktop, you would have one T account called Sales Tax Payable in the chart of accounts, and that would be equal to all the money that you owe to all sales tax agencies together. However, in QuickBooks Online, each agency has its own general ledger account to track the amount owed to that particular agency. So in the desktop, it would look something like this. The T account has a $500 balance, but each individual agency's record shows how much is owed to that particular agency. But in QuickBooks Online, you could think of it like this. Both the subsidiary records and the T accounts and the chart of accounts show the individual amounts owed to each individual sales tax department. The adjustment account that we use to adjust sales tax is always an owner's equity account. Now, that's going to be what we use to adjust sales tax. And the reasons for that are what we discussed earlier about how equity accounts are what balance adjustments when we do a transition from one system to another. But with QuickBooks Desktop, the setup can use special features for adjusting sales tax. But with QuickBooks Online, when we set up sales tax for transferring over to a new QuickBooks Online account, we make a journal entry to account for the opening balances for each of these tax agencies. Now in the desktop version of QuickBooks, the sales tax liability report is what shows the subsidiary records of each individual tax agency and what's owed. Notice we have non-taxable sales that have been put in as part of the setup. Now what we're going to do is adjust. So we're going to click Vendors, Sales Tax, Adjust, Sales Tax Due. And all we have to do is tell QuickBooks, first of all it has to be the date of the transfer, which is fine. And this is a special feature for sales tax adjustment. We simply choose which particular tax vendor or agency and we put the amount 
in this case it'll be 300 for New Jersey and then we click OK and of course the adjustment account we will use in this example is opening balance equity click OK and you can see we now have three hundred dollars owed to the New Jersey tax vendor if I make this report a little bit bigger you can see we owe a total of three hundred because we owe three hundred to New Jersey now we'll make the other adjustment for New York sales to adjust sales tax remember opening balance equity is the adjustment account the same date as the transfer but the New York Department of Sales Tax should only be 200 and now when we click OK we now have starting in the new system we owe 200 to New York we owe 300 to New Jersey and if we look at our trial balance as of the transfer date you can see one account called sales tax payable for the total of five hundred dollars now here we are in the QuickBooks Online sales tax center as you can see all the tax rates and agencies have been already set up and you can learn how to do this in the QuickBooks Online sales tax course here on this very website now let's make our adjustment we click the plus sign and we come down to journal entry we choose the first liability account New Jersey Ministry of Tax and we put credit for the amount that we owe as of the setup date then we also put a credit to New York sales tax payable as of the setup date and of course the balancing entry goes to our good friend opening balance equity the equity account that balances this adjustment the most important thing is that you remember we're putting it as of the setup date March 18th of 2017 is our example setup date now when we click save the trial balance now includes 300 owed to New Jersey for sales tax and 200 owed to New York for sales tax and you would include these money amounts sent in with your first tax payment after beginning the new system now of course our example numbers would be different if we had accounts receivable and accounts payable if that were the case we would have set up receivables and payables before setting up sales tax and that would include the section of undeposited funds the sales tax agencies would already have balances after receivables and payables were set up so therefore the adjustment would be the difference between the tax agency's balances after accounts receivable and payable setup minus the agency's balance as of the setup date for example let's imagine that after the accounts receivable and accounts payable setup one hundred dollars is owed to New York State sales tax department but we know as of the transfer date it's really two hundred and let's imagine after AR and AP were set up a hundred is owed to New Jersey tax but we know that it's really three hundred as of the transfer date so what would we do well two hundred New York tax on the transfer date minus a hundred New York tax after the AR and AP setup means the adjustment for New York is a hundred and of course 300 New Jersey tax on the transfer date minus the hundred that's left over from the accounts receivables and payable setup means that you would adjust New Jersey for 200 and that's the only different thing that you would do from the demonstrated example once you do that you're ready for the main setup journal entry and as always the main setup journal entry is equal to the balances in each account as of the last day of the new system minus the balances as a result of accounts receivable and accounts payable setup and after inventory setup and now also after 
sales tax setup and those would be the amounts for your main setup journal entry.